Yes. No, kissing me a cup. He has apologised for hitting me in a different postcode. He was. My dad said, go old school, no launch control, and just woof, and it went, and that was it. it That's it for the rest off. of the season, though, then. Oh, yeah, I think <laughs> launch control can go in the bin, I think. And you're not on top of the league at the minute, are they? Done. That was my first win, that easy is, yeah. Even though he can sell you a dream and this and that, it's, is that really what, what I do? Just toot around at the back? Yeah. I, trust it. I don't think it, that's not for me, really. I have used the launch control um, incorrectly two out of three races uh, this weekend. The first one, I was looking down at my dash to make sure I had it on and the lights went out. <laughs> So we'll pick up where we left off. Last year Brands Hatch TCR finished and it was hot and it was warm and it was exciting and as you'll see in this video it's been the same again today as the 2024 season kicks off and across the two days you'll see a couple of new winners and one's only a temp and a familiar face at the top of the step. But I'm not going to tell you who they are right now you just Enjoy the video, listen to the interviews, and ignore the swearing. First win? Yeah, first win in, uh, in touring cars, and of course first win in, in TCR UK, of course, as well. So, very, very nice. Yeah. Way, but not, not an easy win. I had to fight for it, a lot of looking in the, in the mirror. Quite hot in the car as well. Yeah. Uh, it's so so you're delivering with the weather England. It's not too bad today. It was yeah. pretty hot. And um, yeah, the key for me now was a good start from the second. Managed to overtake the pole man into turn one and then just defend it when I needed. And uh, yeah, it was tight. That's why we managed to do it. Was it as compared to the TCR route model? The aggressiveness was it more than what you would expect? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's touring car race, isn't it's it? It's touring cars that we expected. I mean, no, it was it was fair. Yeah. Uh, I was not uh, not not too bad, but also the circuit is quite tight, so you need to it only bumps up the field. So yeah. uh, into turn two, if someone breaks early, everyone's there. So yeah. if the circuit invites for tight racing, especially at breaking into two, and we saw that on many cars in the rear bumper for me and the front bumpers for the others, they they are touched for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I know you're only doing the one round. Probably, yeah. Yeah, but you get a taste. Is it, is it something you have, like, you have to do race in the UK? What did you say? If I, it, would have like, you wanted to race in Britain over the years? Yeah, I've looked at the championship, and of course the UK is a well-known racing uh, country. So, of course, uh, I've also used to track a lot in the same and dreamt yeah. of racing here sometime. And to begin it with a win is, of course, inviting me to maybe try it one more time. You never know. But uh, we don't know yet. This is... All that's planned, and uh, then we will see if we do another round or not. It's not really decided yet. And obviously, there's two races tomorrow. What's your expectations when you end up in the pack instead of out the front? Yeah, I mean, the weekend is already a success, so it's, there's nothing to lose in that regard. It's yeah. still have been a perfect, really nice weekend. But yeah, starting 10 could be exciting. Uh, and yeah, but messy. I think uh, the fast guys in, in the middle and the uh, yeah. slower ones in the front will uh, be even tighter tomorrow. I can expect a good show. Good show. So a bit rough out there, was it? <laughs> that was fine. The sea was, the sea was quite normal. Nice little sail along and then it got a little bit choppy in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it was contacts at the front and back. Was it damage of both ends or just one end? Oh, both ends, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, to be fair to Adam, he's, he's come up and apologised and said he just he locked up and made a mistake. Obviously, hit the back of me and then shoved me into the 
um, you know, the, the car out front. So yeah. it's a load of front damage for him, but obviously my side, it's like innocent party and I've got front and rear. So yeah. it is what it is, it's touring car racing at the end of the day, isn't it? so I'm not going to bleat on about it or cry, it's just going to case of get a bit soft, mend it, and go again tomorrow. So obviously I've heard you when you were talking about you're not racing him as far as the championship goes. But were you racing him on track? Were you, were, you, were you fighting for that win or were you just giving a little bit of space? A little bit of both. Yeah. Yeah, where I could, I was putting a bit of pressure on him. And yeah, made him defend two or three times, but then he's, he's defending, he's sending me backwards anyway, isn't he? So yeah. you just got to have a little bit of a think about things. All I was doing was putting a bit more pressure and closing the gap when I could see a couple of free back markers. Yeah. He was really tentative with the back markers. And that's yeah. pretty much what caused that up there, is a bit yeah. of a bottleneck, back marker, and then we've all just, you know, all just sort of concertina it up. So, like I say, it's one of them. We move yeah. on and carry on a bit, so. Who have enough points tomorrow, or? Hoover up points tomorrow, is that the plan or just take it to Gunz? Well, the plan is to hoover up points every time we go out, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's, that's the idea, but no, I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not sitting here going, oh, we want this point, that point, and all the rest of it. No, we're out there to race and we want to race and have some good racing, which I think we had then, so yeah, it's, it's all good. Lovely. And as for you, yeah. you look like you're having a bit of fun catching up, but yeah. there's just no chance of catching again, past. The, the first section of the whole track, and the second, I was, I was in the same pace. Quickest was the last complex, I was watching quite a long time with it, just me. If the car was, it was nice to drive, uh, I was just watching it all unfold. That like car was getting in, uh, I think the usual had about 20 track limits penalties, but they weren't turned on, so yeah, that, that's that. Um, and yeah, that's my opinion, it's quite, quite a boring race, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Well, mate, when Brad disappeared from behind you, did you feel like was there any pressure before that? No, uh, no, I think Brad struggled, I think his time was delaminated. Last year there was a lot of talk about Audi not really being suited the British tracks. Is, is that true? I don't know, I mean... No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, well, compared to me and the team last year, we were, we were, we were there and there about at the same pace as each other, so... And then obviously Paul, the, the crew was quite last year, the, and they were both good this year, but I think um, this year will be a little bit different. If Rob have here and underneath his back with the car, I've got another year underneath the car. Top of the league at the minute, other done. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you've got the new car and you're loving it, but a lot of contact. We've had a shit start, to be honest. We inherited some issues with the car when we bought it, so we missed out on all the testing. We thought we fixed it and we didn't for the qualifying, and then we definitely did for the race. And my car's broke that record, first time ever driving it this weekend. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, yeah a, bit, a bit annoying the last lap. The cars in front checked up a lot harder than that before and I locked up and got the call back a car, which ain't, ain't ideal, but yeah. I hate contact and, and it, it doesn't happen very often with me, but yeah, it's my fault. Well, it was quite a, it was a bit of a pack there, they were fighting each other and you yes. caught them. Yeah, yeah. How far did you think you were going to go? I don't know, when they started battling, you never know, you can go from 50 first very yeah. quickly when that sort of stuff happens, but um, we lost second gear early on, so right. I was like, kind of like going from first to third, trying to get around that issue, um, but I'm pleased with that, we broke that record, quickest out there, first time in the car, so there's lots of potential, for sure. And how was it compared to the i30? Um, a lot faster in qualifying trim. Yeah. Race trim, we had a bit of work to do, we had a bit, a bit of understeer and whatever. Again, I've done 20 minutes in it now since I've owned yeah. it, so to be the quickest out there in the first 20 minutes is, is promising. Um, at the time we'd done in, in practice yesterday, in one lap, was faster than pole, so we could have, we looked like we could have been pole in qualifying. Yeah. The car's fast, yeah. What are the expectations for tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. Um, don't like to make predictions. I want to try and win them both, but yeah. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know where I'm starting because of the issues in qualifying. Yeah. We got yeah. towed off the circuit. Yeah, yeah. Because we got towed, we lost the lap time, so I don't even know where we're starting. Yeah. We've got to try and fix the gearbox first, so um, yeah, lots to do and see where we end up. You like bananas? Yeah, I haven't eaten all day, so. I hear bananas. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. Just for the racing clips, we aren't really interested. It's more like they're having the crack, and uh, yeah. uh, that's what I think people like more. 
Aye. Um, but obviously new one this weekend for me swearing quite a lot because Good. Of, well, honestly. I swear a lot. In fact, you do swear a lot in yours. Yes. I've already watched any of them, mate. Yeah, of course I have. I subscribe. Did you? I'm a subscriber, yeah. I'm a 497 now. I think I'm at 200 and something. 200, I don't know. I know, but Pete, you're, you're the racing driver. You're the sexy one. People want to fucking <laughs> see what you're up to, not yeah. this sad sack of shit. <laughs> so then, yes. How would the first race go for you? I did the PG one. Uh, the PG one, I. It was. No, yeah, it, was, it was. Actually, it was, no. If you want to do. Uh, I won't swear. Um, it was a great start. I was. I think I was up to P5 off the start. Um, ran the outside and did Brad's. Um, that sounds rude, that. Yeah, I know. Did, did Brad around the outside. <laughs> uh, Drew, Drew it, whatever it is. Um, held it on. I was pushing Adam. The last corner, I yeah. was pushing Adam around there, so I knew we had the pace. And then Brad came from a different postcode and just railed me at turn one. Uh, so yeah, it fair, never apologise. Yeah, thank you, but it's, it's. I think he's up with the naughty boys. Yeah, he's been anything. No, it's I, I get it, but like it's a twenty-minute race. You're gonna do me at some point. You know, I don't have any doubt they were past me, but like yeah. pick your battles. And you've been for a long time, and you were mate. You hit my rear bumper. That's how far back he was. But uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. I, I went off obviously fast. Um, Got back on. I think I was P12, P13. Um, I'd got red mist. I was like man possessed. Got back yeah. on the track. Did Darren Lewis at Graham Hill. I just, I just lost the plot. Did him. Passed somebody else. Going to where that was over there. Um, bit round. Did Rick Perry the next lap. I did four places in one lap, and then just 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 went a bit too hot into last corner. Went off yeah. again. Yeah. Went so that's what the gr that's what the gravel was that everybody the grandstand saw. Yeah, that was me. I'd lost again. I'd lost the plot. I was. I'd live streamed it. I've got my, my new box. I'd live streaming the whole thing. So yeah. Just in here, and you can see me like shaking my head and I'm shouting and swearing at myself. Um, went back to the last place. Um, got back up to P9 within two laps again. Um, it was with Darren. We were, we were pretty close, and I was. It, it wasn't right. It was banging on the back. It had a, it had a Something was rubbing or the tire or whatever. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to go off or have a blowout or whatever in P9. And I'm not going to go anywhere. So I raced for like 15 minutes with Darren. He was probably second and a half in front of me. Well, we were about the same. And, and I thought, you know what? Let's bring it home. We're P9, then we're P8. Let's bring it home. Start third on the grid tomorrow. I knew I'd have got in front of me. Obviously, I had Rick Kerry and, and Mark Rice in front of me, which I'm not particularly worried about tomorrow. Um, I just thought, just bring it home. So I backed off the last few four minutes. I was doing 52s, just yeah. to bring it home. Got it back. You know, it was, the car's mega though. It's so good. That's what I was going on. I was yeah, probably happy with so, the car. Yeah, the like, we set up yesterday, it wasn't great. Um, changed it again today for the race. We'll qualify, it was good. Here he is, look, here's the smasher. Come in. Oh, come in, I was in. wanting to interview you come as well. In. Come in, here he is. Oh, kissing me up. He had to apologise for hitting me in a different postcode. He was he, he was pretty much at the different corner when he hit me, weren't you? That's not what, what he's just said. That Brad Hutchinson's all right. I think I was very I'm nice. going to punch I him was, in the balls. I was, <laughs> very, yeah. I was very nice, actually. Wasn't I? I was actually yeah, very nice. He, he was, right? I wanted to say that. I really sorry. He just said, not happy. I was like, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. It was, yeah, no, I, I got... Um, Got three points. Three points. Five place good penalty. Well, that's not far, is it? It's been fucking seven, one place. Seven, no seven cars yeah. racing. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, yeah, it was uh, the marks on my car show that I was uh, very, very much nowhere near uh, being alongside. So I do apologise again. That's on camera this time as well. Yes, camera and. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is what it is. You can uh, speak your truth. We go again out. tomorrow. I was, I was quite polite actually. He you, was. Yeah. you drilled me. <laughs> I will, I have two. So, aims for tomorrow? Don't know. Because obviously off the start line, we're on the inside, we're in third, we're on the inside line. Um, the people in front of me on paper shouldn't be anywhere near. Um, I think if we can get to the front, it sounds a bit much, maybe tomorrow I'll be idiot, but if we can get to the front, and they're battling to themselves to get forwards, um, I think we're not going to win, but if I can bring a podium, 
I'm sure I'll end up pushing P7 or something, but... You hit me. I did, I'm sorry. You hit me as well. Cut across me. I did not. I did not. Well, you hit me as well. I've come seen a bit. Um, yeah, I, I, I think the podium is realistic. No, we, we had the pace. Yeah. You know, we, we had the pace. We, my car was, my back wheel was doing that. And we were there. You know, we were, we were P5. We were keeping with the guys in front. I get quite tired though, because I'm old and fat. So I get well, quite... Shepherd's eating bananas. What's your energy uh, food? Before or after? I have bananas <laughs> after, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I need to figure something out. Lose some weight, really. Um, what? Um, old and fat. I'm old and fat now. Um, well, I'm young and sexy. And yeah, there we go. Um, as, as the wife would say, fat, lose ten pounds, still fucking fat. Yeah. No, I, I, I think a podium. Yeah. Um, but again, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not going to be stupid. I know. Again, I know when to put the battles. I know when someone's going to pass me. So you know, if it's tomorrow, I'm. I'm I'm second and I've got Adam Shepard coming through. I was, there's no, I'm never going to keep him behind. Yeah, yeah. So there's no point. I, I'd, I'd like to put him in the podium. I know certain drivers that are very, very quick don't come through very well. Um, you know, they, they start the first race and do quite well. They start P9, 10, and they, they stay in the next race, 7 and 6. So if we can keep our nose clean, keep the setup right, I think we should we should be okay. Lovely. I like a podium. I can retire on a podium I've done that. End off the record. Start of the race, it was like shit off a shovel, wasn't it? Wow, yeah, what was that? <laughs> I, I, I was standing at turn one on the inside, I just saw the cars emerge from the barriers. I was like, where the fucking hell did they come from? <laughs> yeah, I um, launch control wasn't working. Is it not? So um, I didn't really know what was going on. So I'm in my head, I mentioned to my dad after race one the launch control I was struggling with. I got it wrong. So um, yeah, you might want to leave it forward for that sign out. My dad said, Go old school, no launch control, and just woof, and it went, and that was it. it That's it for the rest off. of the season, though. Oh, yeah, I think <laughs> launch control can go in a bin, I think. Just having to do that every time. So, um, no, phenomenal. The cars, I'm like, we changed anything and everything you can change in that car. Race yeah. one, we changed springs, bars, everything inside, and um, the car was absolutely unbelievable. So, uh, really happy. So, once you got out into the lead, was it just a mental game with yourself? Uh, just, cruise, just cruising around, to be honest. I don't think there was a single lap where we pushed 100%. We were yeah. just driving 80%, 90%, managing the gap. I was a bit caught with traffic. I could, I could see in the um, mirrors that I had a big gap, and I could see the car in front didn't know I was there, because he was yeah. getting flashed and blue flags, he wasn't moving. So I was a bit cautious. The guy behind closed in, so I just got my head down, couple of, pulled a couple of um, seconds in, and went from there. So. It was being you calm, one that you don't really know was then, you know, he's like, what's yeah. that sound? Oh, yeah. Is this just going to last? There is, I heard a screeching noise, I think. Um, I heard a screeching noise towards the end, so I don't know if it's in my head or if there's a belt slipping or something, we'll have a look, but yeah. the car's phenomenal. 
Yeah. Unbelievable. Now, obviously, the sets you are really good for the rest of the yes. season, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, fingers crossed. Are you thinking championship yeah, yet, or are you just... No, no you round by round and see how we go. Yeah. He was off like a shot, yeah, wasn't no, he? That, yeah, that can't quit. <laughs> yeah. So, so what happened at the start? Uh, well, I got, I got a good start. Well, everyone boxed it onto the inside. So yeah. I just followed Adam around the outside of everyone and managed to get it to third. Yeah. And then after a couple of laps behind Luke, made a move up the inside into the hairpin. Was, was, was he um, placed himself quite difficult or was it just easy and measured? Yeah, it was fairly easy because he lost the rear down Paddock Hill. Right. So it gave me the inside line. Yeah. And yeah, I just went through quite easily. Yeah. But yeah, I could have no chance catching Adam. No. He was no, too no. quick. No, no. I mean, what about what, what the pace of this car this year? It's good. I mean, we put it on pole, but yesterday racing with the Coopers, they just pull away down the straight, so it's yeah. quite difficult to race with. And yeah, I think the car is lacking a little more roll pace compared to the newer gen, new gen stuff, but yeah. Second place is alright. It is, it's right. But it's still first win, though. still has to happen this year, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, we started Paul for the next race. Yeah. So hopefully I can get off the line and stay ahead of everyone. And then hopefully it should be alright from there. Is there. Is there any track in particular you think that's going to fear you? Uh, maybe Thruxton. Yeah. I think I think cause it's quite. I think, go, I think they would go quite well around there, but I know it's a power circuit as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Next race? Next race, I'm going to try and win it. <laughs> <laughs> Starting on pole, getting me finished first. We learnt, learnt enough from yesterday in terms of, like, in terms of, like, yeah. not, not getting hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clean not start. letting people pass. That's yeah. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll try and make a clean start. Yeah, yeah. To try and get away in, in first. But it's hard, because the first place is uphill. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, just get wheel spin. Fantastic. <laughs> Another podium, then. Yeah. So, you made a few moves in that race, yeah. and you had a bit of an interesting fight with Carl there. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Well, do you remember yesterday when we were talking, I was like, I need to improve on this last sector because it was terrible. Aye. I did a lot of homework last night on it, and yeah, I think I've got it right now, which... Because yesterday in the race, my lap time was the same as the front bars, but in a completely different way. Um, yeah. I was strong around the first bit, and I was terrible around this one. And now I've improved on that bit, it's all coming together so you can make a lot that's where the overtaking moves are so yeah, yeah. you can overtake the car felt quick i felt a lot better on the track and yeah but i dropped a p8 in the first lap battle necked into turn one which didn't help um and then just trying to pick, pick the way through them really um so yeah i did a few moves into the last corner and then yeah by the time i got past them it was like newton was like two or three seconds and when you're within a tenth of lap it's hard to overtake yeah in the last five laps I thought I had a puncture because there was some broke on the front left, so I yeah. backed off a little bit. It's all about points really, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. I'm so close to the first weekend, so I'm happy. I mean, you're one of the few people that carry the same car over from last year. You know, we're in with a BTC. to make it quick. Yeah, but with, but with new tyre constructions compared to last yeah. year, is it making much of a difference? Well, I think I've, I've improved a lot. I, like, over the winter, I've been working at the uh, I'm not working, but I've been going to a place called Iso, working on myself as a driver and trying to get the most out of myself on the race weekend. And I think it's, it's uh, clearly been quite a good choice to do that over the yeah. winter. So, I mean, Rob's got another year under his belt with a car as well, which helps. Yeah. I've had a year in it, which helps. Yeah. And then there's all these little things that you have to do to, you know, make yourself a better driver, sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it's all working out well. I mean, people said uh, it only works in Europe, this and that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. we're going to Fruxton and Silverstone as well. I mean, this track shouldn't really be shoot the Audi, really. Yeah. yeah. So, it's going on the podium, it's great. And over the, it's talking about over the winter, over the winter was quite a bit of excitement in the um, Tune Car Facebook pages because you got your test with the uh, Cobra. Yeah. Was there any thoughts over the trying to move that way or? I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I think, to put it brutally honest, if you're not with a NAFA, a BMW, or, you know, the top, top teams, you're not really going to be at the front. Yeah. It? Even though they can sell you a dream and this and that it's, is that really what, what I do just toot around at the back yeah. it's just, I don't think it, that's not for me really until you get enough budget to do I'd love to do touring cars yeah. but it's, the money is just astronomical so unless you get some sponsor for it and go with the top top team I think that's what I'll wait for really. and also it's been a lot made about Audi's withdrawal from 
TCR and whatnot. Is that having any effect on you, or is it just... Well, no, so Detlef's here this weekend. He's something yeah. he's he's uh, the Audi man pretty much. Um, he said he'd be here at most rounds. I know they're putting a lot of effort into F1 now, aren't they? So, yeah. so. Well, at the minute, nothing's really changed for us. Um, we still speak to Detlef even when he's not here. Um, Nigel, my data engineer, he's not here this weekend, but he can speak to WFC for Audi. So, yeah, nothing really changed, really. And the bottle of the uh, hooch that you've just won, is it crap quality? <laughs> it's what, sorry? Champers. I, 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 I haven't even tried it. I'm gonna, when I go, I'm going to give, give it to my mum, so I won't, yeah. I'll give it to her. Yeah, and then more. When's the first win coming? Well, so the next race is starting four. That's it. I'm feeling racist. I'm going to go for a win for the next race. You'll take my life, but I'll take yours too. You fire your musket, but I'll run you through. So when you're waiting for the next attack, you better stand. There's no turning back. I mean, obviously behind you, I don't know if you saw Shep was doing his uh, thing and catch up. Did, 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 what did you think on the first turn when you, because it seemed like you pulled a big gap straight away, because it seemed like everybody seemed to bunch up behind you. Yeah, well, to be honest, I thought I was going to be, I was going to struggle the first two laps, because yeah. I had no rear tie temperature. Right, yeah. So we didn't do a cross, so yeah. everyone else crossed, because we just wanted the front. Was that intentional? Yeah, right. we needed hot fronts to get off the line. Right. Stay in the lead. Right, yeah. So that safety car really saved me. So yeah, I yeah. Get some tire temp. Yeah. But yeah, after that, we got a good safety car restart. And uh, we were looking back after that. Yeah, did, 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 did you get information to tell you what size the gap was? No, there's no, there's no intercom. So no, you're not no. running with intercom? No. So you didn't know you were eight seconds up at one point? No, I didn't. Know. Was, 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 was he a second? By the end, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I was looking back behind me, but. Nobody yeah, there. Nobody there. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I think coming out Graham Hill Corner, I think I've got the shot for the next cover of the magazine because it looks absolutely beautiful. You on your own. It yeah. just looks fucking brilliant. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's a really good way to end the day. But did, did, you, did you, I mean, obviously earlier on I said, you know, the first win, win's coming. Did you think it was going to be this easy? Wait, well, it's never easy, but did you think no, it was going to be? I thought it would, yeah. It wasn't, it was a straightforward race. Yeah. <laughs> now, now my first win. Now my first win that easiest, yeah. I'm very happy with that. And obviously, I mean, got Snedden coming up next. Do you think like a long track like that's possibly going to be a bit more of a disadvantage in terms of the outright pace and the long straights? Yeah, I think that's where we're going to struggle, but there's a lot of corners as well. And yeah. The, the Hyundai is good through the corners. Yeah. So. You want the rain because in the pre-season test year you were one of the few people who were yeah. doing long runs in the rain. Yeah. So would that be an advantage to you? Probably, yeah. I, I do love the rain anyway. Cause yeah. Scottish. Well, yeah. well, we're not far from the border. Yeah, not, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I do love the rain. I've always been good in the rain. But yeah. Either way, the car's quick in both wet and dry, so yeah, I'm ready for it. <laughs> Invigorated to go and take the championship now. That's the plan. The plan is to, the plan is to win. <laughs> not here to... I don't need to make up numbers. No, no, no. Absolutely fucking brilliant. So you know, yeah. So I haven't really spoke you through the weekend apart from when you came out of the naughty boys room. Mm. So second time we've been back up. What was your results this weekend? Um I'm not actually sure. Um <clears throat> let's have a look here. Oh sorry, I'm in hot moment. Naughty boy. <laughs> we're gonna back, I'm gonna end up back in the night boys if we can ask. So I think um, race one, I don't know if it was a DNF or a P P14, I think part of 15, so, um, but I don't actually know the, the, the answer to that one. Um, race two was P6, race three 
still pending. I think it's P5, but I think there is a, a protest that has gone in against one of the cars. So, uh, provisionally P5. Uh, happy enough with it, considering the amount of testing we've done, which is absolutely zero. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously part of the car being in Germany on Thursday. Um, I think, yeah, we can be, we can be happy with that. And, I, me as a driver, I'm not over the moon because we, we've not got any silverware, and I think we 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 did all right. And we probably should have had better results, but it's encouraging. Obviously, it is a new car, and that is the the this weekend is the first one we've had in the drive properly. You know, with the, the car all up to spec and everything. So I think we did all right. It was it was a fun race. Race two was our race three of the weekend. Was, uh, I noticed there was a bit of kissing with Adam down the back street. Yeah, yeah. So there was. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there was, a, there was a couple of bumps and nudges. I mean, we've been up to Shures. I think he was the same as me. He, he saw it as sort of quite good and close racing. Uh, there was a couple where it got a little bit too, too um, touchy touchy, but you know, we, we, we both finished, so it's, uh, it's not the end of the world. And, and obviously, just pinned me the most out. I think I used most of my tyres and tried to defend, and uh, yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't hold him off for any longer. And uh, yeah, got past me and uh, got a bit of a gap. Now, last year at Donington, you obviously didn't use the launch control. And Adam was saying that's why his good starts me because he hasn't used his launch control. He's just gone with the straights. Is that something that you're doing? I have used the launch control um, incorrectly two out of three races uh, this weekend. The first one, I was looking down at my dash to make sure I had it on and the lights went out. Uh, which is not ideal. Uh, the second one, I got way too much wheel spin using it and just released the button too early. The third one, I held the button on a little bit too long, but it was the best out of three launches I've got. So I think if you can hook it up, because I think the, I think it was the uh, Honda race one, shot past me and, and just gone. I, mean, I think yeah. that was using uh, the, the launch. So I'm not sure. I mean, how much can you assist with it? It's not got, you know, traction control on it. So it's not real launch control. It's just yeah. basically a rev limiter. So, yeah, I mean, when it works, it works, but yeah, I think some, some more practice required, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I know that's, well, let's see, it's your first weekend and you had a goal of putting things together, learning the car. Did you expect more? I was hoping for more, I think. Yeah. I mean, it was, obviously, you come to a race weekend with a car, you've not really tested at all, at all. That was our first running of the year. You know, well, we didn't do any uh, winter testing or anything, it was... Oh, well, Shepard, he, he, he won a race. True, so on. <laughs> true, yeah, it's a good point. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I suppose that, that's all my excuse is gone, I suppose, isn't it? But, yeah, I mean, we had a, he was out on, on the Friday, so yep. we'll, we'll, we'll put that down as a difference, because I think, uh, you know, the, the, the incident we had in the first race with the uh, uh, front damper, that would have probably been discovered in a test day. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, going straight out into qualifying, obviously it's quite a short qualifying, so we didn't have that issue. Um, and obviously in race one, when we were pushing on really hard, we sort of appeared and, uh, yeah, I think that's probably the difference. I think we'll probably test both of Yeah, yeah. Hopefully take some boxes. Pace-wise, I'm happy. The car's, the car's in the ballpark. You know, it's nice to be fighting the lead pack. It's just, you know, certainly around this track, any any little bit, you know, any overlap, any side-by-side -side really does allow the guy in front to get ahead uh, and obviously get that gap. And then it's almost impossible to close it because, you know, you're all doing such similar lap times, one after the other. You do have to rely on, you know, traffic or bits of pods, you know, something to, to actually get the pack back together. Um, but yeah, we were fighting for the lead, essentially, you know, for, for two or three races. So happy enough. And the aim for Snedden. What do you do between now and Snedden? Uh, first thing is get my helmet painted. That's going off on Monday because <laughs> I'm doing my head in. Uh, so yeah, um, we're going to go back, obviously strip the car, make sure everything's where it should be. Uh, like I said, it is still a new car. It is still something some bottle we need to, to sort out. Um, go back to the drawing board, look at the data we've got over the weekend and, and figure out what we can change to, to, to make the changes better. Throughout the week, we have been tweaking quite significantly. Um, Certainly in race three, that was the best cars felt at all. Uh, so it's definitely, uh, we've definitely gone the right direction, but it's just about going back to the drawing board and seeing if we do anything more to go in the same direction. So we had a we had a, a, a decent front end in that last one, just, just missing that little bit of, a uh, little bit of bike when it's the corner, it'll come. And for your tea, you are eating? Um, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure. Probably some of the services, because we've got the uh, the old four and a half hour drive home. So uh, probably Mackey's or something, because uh, I can splash out after a after a race with my partner. Ah, you can go back to the gym on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, there you go. Uh huh. That's the first round of TCR UK 2024 in the bag. And as you can see, everybody's packing up and it's time to go home. And for us, that's a long thing. And then we're going to have another long drive back down to Snedderton. Much as I love the place, it's a ball. You expended all that time driving, wasting petrol, natural resources, being anti green. But yeah. That's the end of the vlog. Now, 